Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Banshee Flyer. I'm here to give you a, I guess, kind of a first look at Crisis. Wow, Counter Strike Global Offensive. Um, this is a first impression video, which means that I'm just going to be going through this game, playing, you know, 20 minutes or so of it, kind of ex explaining how I feel about the game. Uh, whether I like it or not, whether I think it was worth the money or not, this is... Right now, this is the first one. I'm not sure if I'll do any more, but I just, you know, had the inspiration to do this video. Because I've been a big Counter-Strike fan for so many years. Uh, so, uh, mostly I'm going to be comparing, since this is the third game in a series, yes, Valve finally, finally released a third game. Wow, is releasing. By the time the video goes up, or by the time you guys are watching this, the game might have already come out. This is the beta, which started on August 14th, and the game comes out on October, er, August 31st. 21st! Bleh! So, um, not that much. But basically, I'm going to be comparing this to Counter-Strike Source, because it's practically the same game, just newer. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to compare it to other games, I'm just saying the main point of comparison is from the old game. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying that already I've noticed quite a few changes, both good and bad. Um, there's music, for one thing, which is kind of cool, and um, the Valve opening sound that Valve always uses has changed a tiny bit, which, you know, is probably just to say, hey, we're new, we produce something new, come check this out, kind of thing. Already, yeah, I've said good and bad things. The bad thing is that I feel that this game is already trying to look like Modern Warfare or Battlefield or any of the newer shooters, which I don't like. <laughs> Counter-Strike was an original production back when it came out, and Source was basically the, an improved version of that. And I want it to stay Counter-Strike, and I want it to become another battlefield. But anyway, I'm going to go through the menu real quick. There's the play, which gives you to the multiplayer menus, my accomplishments, just achievements, help and options, and then of course exit. Help and options, uh, you can obviously customize your controller, keyboard, um, this has motion support, which I don't really, I, I've never given thought to it. Maybe I'll use it, maybe not, but probably not for this game. There's the game settings. Crosshair style, you know, this is kind of the same as, um, Source. <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly what this does, but kind of don't really want to. Anyway, always enable the developer console. I don't know why that was off. Close by menu after purchase. No, because you... That's what the one thing that Source didn't do very well, is every time you bought something, it would close the menu. Well, depending on which, if you were playing from the actual game or playing from a, a modified version where you could buy weapons from both teams or whatnot, but I guess that's more of a um, mod problem switch with them. Okay, so there's all of these, you know, decent amount of settings. Uh, there's video settings, which are right here, the basic ones. Not exactly entirely sure what laptop power savings does, but I don't, I'm running this off of the desktop, so I don't care. Notification, you can choose which where it shows up, which is kind of cool. And then here are the more advanced options, about the same as every typical Valve shooter, or any typical Valve game, because I guess most they've mostly released shooters. Um, decent amount of video, it's... Not like the first Crisis, but, you know, it's, it's enough so that it makes me happy. You can change the HUD size and everything. The one thing that kind of made me sad that the old Counter-Strike had that this one didn't is the ability to change your weapon view from a right-handed perspective to a left-handed perspective. I'm, uh, I'm ambidextrous, but I'm a left-handed writer, so I tend to usually try to go for the left-handed HUDs. Unfortunately, that's not available in this version of Counter-Strike yet. I may write a letter to them saying to do that. They still have a couple of days to change anything. Yeah, the problem with putting a beta up so close to the release date is that they can't really change that much unless they delay it, as usual. So, I'm gonna go ahead to the play game. 
Uh, you can play offline with bots, which is kind of cool. Weapons course, I have no idea what that is. I'm assuming you get to basically pick a weapon and just screw around with it, just to see what it's like. Uh, you can find a game, which is, you know, you get... So far, there's only four game modes. There'll probably be more added. There are different maps. A lot of the maps in this game are... There are, I think, I'm pretty sure there are a couple new ones, but a lot of them are just redone of the old Crisis of Counter-Strike... Or Crisis! Why do I keep saying Crisis? Counter-Strike Source. How many times have I said Crisis already? Ugh, Counter-Strike. I feel like I've said Crisis a lot and haven't noticed it. I apologize, guys. Um, but there's the arms race, which is, you know, it's, it's practically gun game. Demolition, which is... Um, practically the same thing, except you... Or you get weapons on the round. Well, you, you, I'll let you read this. You guys can pause the video if you want to read it. Oops. Okay, apparently right-click makes you go back, which is kind of cool. So Arms Race, you know, there have been plenty of gun game mods, so that's one thing I'm already not liking too much, is that they're trying to make mods the actual uh, part of the game. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's kind of cool because you never are exactly too sure what the server rules are for gun mods, and or gun game mods, and you might not like them, or... I don't know, you just want to have random players and not have to try to hunt for one. These are... These matchmaking ones are just like any other shooter where it sets up the game for you. There's community uh, quick play and servers, which are the modded servers more likely, like zombie mods and gun game mods and all the old mods that you would play from Counter-Strike Source. Um, the s community servers I'll leave alone because, you know, those, those kind of change your gameplay views. But this does have mod support, just like Counter-Strike Source, thank god. Um, so those are the two classic modes. Yay. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I want to play. Arms Race, you know, it's, it's basic, so I won't do that one. Uh, Demolition's kind of like the cat classic one. Hmm. Let's see, what's the difference? Team Friendly Fire. Hmm. We'll just do Classic Competitive. Map Group. Hostage. Oh! Okay, this is cool. So you gotta select. This is kinda like when, when Crisis. God! Counter Strike Source looked like when it first came out when uh, there was just bas basically hostage and defuse missions. We'll just do some hostage missions for now, because those are kind of the most fun. We'll let it search. Searching in the game... Um, so far it's taken me a while to find some map. Okay, this one was faster. It usually takes me... Um, oh, this is Office. Yeah, this was on Counter-Strike Source as well, but it's... I don't know, they have quotes at the bottom now. Um, what was I saying? Oh, usually the it takes me a while to find a match, but it's probably, first of all, it's beta. Second of all, not too many people. I mean, this has literally just been up for download. So this gives you a player list, thankfully. So you can see how many people are on which side. And then it gives you... Um, it, used to sh it shows you what you need to, to do for each goal. Oops. Well, I wasn't quick enough and did an auto-pick for me. So already we can see that the game is... Wow, well, one. But, um... The game is... It looks very similar to the old Crisis. Uh, there's an... God, freaking balls! Counter strike. 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 Uh, the this display thing is very, very new. Uh, I got dual Berettas because I missed that. Oops, I forgot to turn my mouse sensitivity down. Oh well. This is it. Let's go. But um, I know to cycle weapons. <laughs> oh, I already died. Well, 
As you can see, the HUD's a tiny bit different. It gives you a player list at the top of the screen. Who's dead, who's not, who you're viewing. Hmm. Right now I'm looking at the other team. It's just two left. But, um, yeah, let me, let me try to finish my sentence. It looks practically the same as Counter-Strike Source, except with a new HUD and obviously better graphics. Uh, I think the graphics do look a lot shinier, they look a lot smoother so far. Um, the lighting, you can see sometimes the guns kind of jump lighting. Yeah, like, just right then, and then, and then. <laughs> so, the game does, uh, the lighting needs a little polishing. Uh, the one thing I was looking forward to, hopefully, that Global Offensive would do was have dry and wet reloads. For those who don't know, a dry reload is when you are completely out of ammo and something like the pistol uh, slide goes all the way back in locks. You have to put a new magazine and then click the slide forward or pull the charging handle or whatever. And then there's a wet reload where you have at least one round left in the chamber so you don't have to pull back the hammer or whatever. Who's that guy again? That's funny. Tells me to buy armor and helmet. Well, they don't have the same auto buy that they used to be. But. Let's go. Yep. Spend all my time buying armor, I don't have enough for a gun. Yes, yeah, the problem I find already is that they don't give you enough. Um enough money at the beginning, which, you know, it's understandable, but also kind of annoying. Can I not open this? Okay. Oh, that was a bad guy. <laughs> uh, trust me, I'm a lot better when I'm not performing on camera. Um, that is supposed to be an M1014, but it's a little bit small for the guy. Unfortunately, that's also probably something that can't be avoided. Well, it can be avoided, but it can't be changed right now. Yay, we get money for losing. Um, I'm gonna actually get something now. Let's see what I can Maybe you can unlock more? I'm hoping <laughs> you can unlock more weapons. It seems that they've... Gotten a bit more, or a bit better at. Come on. They've gotten a bit better at licensing, so they're not a bunch of fake names for the guns like they used to be. I killed him. Oh, guy left. Oh, he won. Oh no, we're counter terrorists. Oh! Oh, I feel dumb. How did I not notice this? Come on, let's go! Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't really know what else to comment on, because other than that, this is practically the same game as the old one. Apparently, Molotov just launched. Oop. Itchy trigger finger. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Hey! Uh, yeah, the animation, reload animations are a bit smoother, a little more realistic. I have a feeling I'm gonna get shot. Always happens. Hmm. Yeah, the maps are redesigned, more more just like converted and new skinned. Counter terrorists win. I win. Hostages coming out. See what happens when you're awesome. Let's see. I actually call it the Famas now. So they have a couple of new weapons. Not they're all the same. I hope to God that there's more than just these go, weapons. Because otherwise they'll have less weapons than they did. Oh, there we go. Flashbang. 
Um, alternate fire. What was I saying? I'm scared. I'm about to die. Which is funny, because I have 84... Um... Is that a TMP? No. Yeah. Ugh. Um... I have 84 armor, but only 10 health. Yep. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Oh, yeah. You still can't aim down the sights, which... You know, it's, this is supposed to be practically just a run-and-gun game. Oh, crap. It's 1v1. Oh, dang. It's supposed to be a run-and-gun game, so... Aiming down the sights isn't really... necessary, I guess. I'll just wait for the game to start. Let's go! Actually, I think I'll back out this one. Okay, I can switch to the community servers, but I can't switch game modes. We'll go and do bomb defusing real quick. Actually, no, I'll show you arms race. And then I'll give a little closing thing. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see with, there's probably, hmm, I don't know how it is for developers or map makers. Uh, there might have been a few, a couple of new map editor tools, new programming tools. I guess the main thing why you would want to keep this game relatively the same than, like, like Counter-Strike Source is. So... What am I trying to say? Oh, it's, it's so you want to... the mods aren't too different. Like, a lot of the old mods people would love. Oh yeah, you can't select your skin anymore. Oh, uh, no. yeah, a lot of the old mods people are in love with, and they always want to... they don't want to change much. So they want to you know, keep the game relatively the same. I know I'm not doing that good. The main reason why I'm showing you arms race right now, though, is so you can get an idea of what a lot of the newer weapons look like. Whoa! That was a bad idea. Whoa. Oh my god, there are bodies falling from the sky. Yeah, yeah this game doesn't have any of the fancy things, no destructible environments, no... No aiming down, or no lean. Sweet. One thing I hope they do with Gun Game, though, is that they change the... or, uh, Arms Race, is that they change the... the... cycle? Yeah, the cycle of... Oh my god! Stop taking my kills. The cycle of weapons. Oh. Because I don't want to... You know, the thing with Gun Game is that it's kind of boring getting the same weapons in the same order over and over and over again. So you never know what you're gonna have next on a lot of the modded gun games. Oh jeez. Oops. Oops. Never reload, guys. One thing you should never, ever, never, ever, never, never. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I feel bad. Next weapon is a P90. Oh, yeah. 
one thing I... I don't know if I like this or not, but on the lower right, it shows you what your next weapon is. And one thing is that you can't really camp at spawns anymore, because players are invisible for a set time, either until they shoot or until the set time runs out. I'm gonna... That's not points in my favor. Oh, I see. I got the achievement. I can't kill anybody. Uh, another new thing about this that they, I guess the first game that they put it in and was Left 4 Dead 1, the gun smoke trails. What? Oh, I did kill him. <laughs> okay, I guess not. Well, somebody killed him, but either way, that was that was a funny kill cam. Oh, sorry. God dang. Attacked a teammate. It wasn't on purpose. Make me seem like a bad guy. All right, the shotgun isn't a pump action, but they think it is. So. There's, I think there's a pump M14 and a non-pump M14. M M1014, not M14. But, oh man, why can't I think tonight? The regular M1014. I don't know if this... I'm 98% sure that the regular M1014, the, the real-life one, does not have a pump. I wonder if I can knife a guy, I'll get more points. I can't kill anybody with this thing. Oh, somebody already reached the gold knife. Very good. Reached the gold knife level. Next shot, my next gun is the Mag 7, which is practically, it looks like an Uzi, but it's a pump shotgun. Never seen that gun before until now. No! I won't let you! Jeez, that guy was made of invincible. For the record, I didn't try to kill my teammate on purpose. I tried to kill that dude. No! That's one thing that I don't like about this game, is that when you get shot... ...and knocks you down... He won! <laughs> Your team wins! New no. Lol. Alright. Well. As that guy said, this game is fucking amazing. Uh, I'll go back to the main... Maybe. I'll go back to the main menu and then give my thought whether I agree or not with that statement. Shoots. Ugh, fine. Just let me leave. Speedy. Oh yeah, there's... a microphone, which I'm hoping... Oh, thank god. I'm pretty sure somebody would have commented, but I don't want an open mic with me auditoring this whole game. Um, so I'm gonna get my last thoughts on this game. So far. Um, I like part of it, but for the most part I'm actually kind of disappointed. I can't say why, because I don't really know what I was expecting. I mean, when I saw the screenshots I figured, eh, it's probably going to be Counter-Strike Source, but with updated graphics. So far, this seems to be the truth. There are, you know, a couple new game modes and more of a matchmaking system. Uh, you know, updated graphics, and a couple new weapons, and a couple of changes, taking out a couple of things, adding a couple of things, you know, just how hiccup most game sequels are. 
compared to Counter-Strike Source, so far, I still say that Counter-Strike Source is a better. It seems like it was a larger game with more potential. This one... I don't know. Maybe it's because of the charm of the old Counter-Strike? But this one seems a little bit too... too robotic. Too... too generic. Too much like... too much like a wannabe Modern Warfare or... whatever other new shooters there are out there. There's not really much other than Battlefield, Medal of Honor, and Call of Duty that isn't popular. Or that is popular, I guess. Uh, so, is this worth the 15 bucks that's going on for now? I'd say yes. Because, you know, this is... It's like paying for Killing Floor. You're not paying for an entire freaking game. You're just playing for a nice little multiplayer attraction. It's like one of those... I don't really know how to, how to, what to compare it to. But it's it's one of those gimmicks that you want to play for a while and get addicted to. It's I don't know. Maybe this it'll probably be a lot better when the game is fully out and some things have been fixed, like you know the lighting. Those are just small things, but some of the community servers probably will be a bit better. Some of the uh, maps will be better. There'll be more maps, probably more weapons. I don't I don't know. Valve isn't really into DLC, but. Well, just as long as they don't add hats to this game, I'll be happy. So, and yeah, being being always always being able to play in an open beta is fun. That's the one thing I love about Valve is that they're like, oh, our community exists. Let's let's use them. As a, as in like have fun using, not like make them pay a crap ton of money and give them a really crappy game. So, yeah, it's it's I don't know. It's, I really don't want. I, mean, I understand this is still in beta. It's still in beta. Things need to be fixed, and it'll probably be hopefully a little bit different at least when it comes out. Because I want this. You know, they've spent a long time. The old Counter Strike Source was 2004, I think. I want to say 2000. Yeah, that 2004 sounds about right. So yeah, you know, it's it's almost a decade old. Like it needs to be eventually just replaced. Some games, you know, you never grow old, but this one is getting there. Anyway, I'm droning on about something pointless. Is it worth it? Yes. Is it better than the old game? We'll see. Is practically what I'm just going to be saying here. I look forward to it when it comes out. Uh, I might... I don't, I don't know, I might do a follow-up video about what the differences are when the full game comes out. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this first look review. That's yeah, ran a little longer than I thought it would, but what the hell. Um see you guys later.